I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. <laughs> All right. For a little lost kitten. Apparently, he's out doing laundry out here. Corbin, you know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. You sound familiar. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. I need that thing. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. Well, here's where Corbin dropped the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do my eyes deceive me, or did he accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, not. You are positively evil, Fidget, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's just poison ivy, though. It just makes you itch. Oh, it's just a little... Just a little prank, right? Show that meaning not to push poor little kids around. 
You said it. But remember, if we get caught, I'm going to blame you. Fine, whatever. With pleasure. That meanie. He's just lucky I don't foreclose on his face. What? You know, it's like he didn't pay the mortgage on his face. Then I bite it off. Foreclose. Okay, never mind. That noise. Alright, Gianni, let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient's type and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he alright? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kinda hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. Maps You've already fidget. poisoned his It's clothes, what separates so us right. from the animals. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for bringing Corbin back. I'll make sure he doesn't run off again. Well, don't be too rough on him, Colleen. He's been through a lot. Take care now. Here you go, Blop. Four Trolk Fingers. Don't spend them all in one place. Woo, Daisy! Bet I could play the piano with these puppies. Piano. Let's assume I know what a piano is. You done right by me, son. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Tell you what, since you're in the hunting mood, maybe you could help me with my tape. I don't see how those two things relate. Also, I don't want to see how those two things relate. What's wrong with your teeth, Blop? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I only got one left, I've been wanting to construct me some dentures. And if you can bring me ten rockhound teeth, I'd be sitting pretty. You're smiling pretty while I'm sitting. I've been keeping track of all the things people have asked you to do, Dust. This is probably the creepiest one so far. You said it, Fidget. All right, Blop, I'll get you some teeth. Here's ten rockhound teeth, Blop. I'm so sure weird. your new teeth will be the talk of the town. I think I'm all set. Thank you, son. Ain't no one gonna tell Blob he can't eat corn no more. <laughs> All right, then. Ow. Whoa. to lean 
Oh. Okay. Saw person. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa. That reminds me of Minecraft. What? Probably not question how or why why anything. snow down from the mountain all right give me a second great that should keep it cold for bopo i'll be sure to give it to him if we ever find ourselves back in mud pot well that made absolutely no sense every moment has a purpose fidget you just have to dig deeper Mm-hmm. <laughs> 